Standing six foot three inches tall, Robertson, known as Singing Pete, was popular and a highly regarded soldier who had refused all offers of promotion. A man noted for his willingness to take risks. On the 6th of November, 1917, he was a part of the 27th Battalion advancing toward Passchendaele from here at Crest Farm down toward the church. They followed a creeping barrage as they advanced, but the nearer they came to the village, the fiercer the opposition grew. One machine gun was proving difficult to overcome, blocking the way into the main street, and it was heavily defended. Three times the platoon had charged only to be driven back when Robertson decided to do something. While his comrades were firing their Lewis guns and rifles at the machine gun post, Robertson leapt up and sprinted alone across the line of fire, dashing around the flank. He hurtled the barbed wire fence and set about the gun team with his bayonet. Within seconds, four men were dead and the remainder fled. And as they did, Robertson turned their own machine gun on them. This allowed the Canadians to advance through the village with Peter Robertson at the front of the advance, setting up his captured weapon and using it on repeated occasions with great effect on the Germans. It took about 30 minutes for them to clear Passchendaele and an hour later, the eastern crest of the ridge beyond the village. The rest of the day was spent consolidating their position, but there were some minor firefights that continued throughout the day. Now, when Robertson saw in one of these later firefights that two snipers from his battalion were lying wounded ahead of their own lines, he went out to bring them in. He rescued the first one, but the enemy were beginning to close in, making it more dangerous to go back for the second. But he ignored those risks and went back out again. Captain Theodore Rob Roberts wrote about what happened next. He said, quote, he fell before reaching the second man. He was probably hit, but he picked himself up and continued on his way and secured his second comrade. Slipping on the sticky mud, nearly exhausted, he stuck to his man and had put him down close to our line when an unlucky shell exploded nearby killing him instantly, end quote. Private Robertson is buried today in the Tynecott Cemetery. I visited his grave in my video about Tynecott. He was one of the last of over half a million men who fell here on the fields of Passchendaele.